Hey, y'all, this is Lady D live from Detroit once again. Okay, y'all, now I got some new information for y'all. Like and subscribe my channel. And this is sad, y'all. This is really sad, but let me break this shit down for y'all. Okay. They arrived there Friday, like early morning or either in the afternoon. Not late, late, late afternoon, but the afternoon. Okay. When they got there, they was doing all types of stuff. The shit that they said, the guy in the video that said the chef came. Okay. It's weird, but I'm going to break this shit down for y'all. Okay. He said the chef, they said the chef came. He missed all of that. Okay. Boom. After they got there, she was doing everything that the trip said they could do pretty much but they had other shit to do too now when they got there they was having fun but mind you before they got on that motherfucking plane they got into it because everybody that was supposed to have their money didn't have their money so she said fuck it and went on and covered it they off they get to Mexico now before they even went to fucking Mexico they had a problem with her. Okay, there's two rumors going around. I don't know how true that is. It's allegedly. They're saying that she set somebody up and got their cousin killed. First rumor. Second rumor. She had a video in her phone of J Nazir and Khalil getting busy. Now, let me refresh y'all memory. Go to the video when they playing the games and they drinking. Okay, I saw that on her phone twice during these videos. Okay, the black message that popped up on the tablet said um, whoever didn't, pretty much whoever didn't come out and uh, be active in the activities, you know, you in other words, you in trouble. Okay, now remember she had two phones now. She was operating two, three devices at once. Now, when she touched that tablet for that text message that somebody in that room sent, okay, it ain't just popped up out of nowhere. That came from one of them in that room, I believe. Okay, this is just my opinion. Okay? Now, she touched that tablet. Everybody in the motherfucking room Move changed, but they was having a good time. They was drinking. They let all the festivities go by, but all along, I believe they was plotting on her. And let me tell you why, because she went on a trip, allegedly, with Jaleel and Jazir. They went on a trip without the girls, cause them girls was not her friends, y'all. She met. She knew of them because they from the same town. She knew of them because they are just Jaleel's friends. They his friends that like, I got a friend. She introduced me to her friends, that type of shit. But y'all all know each other. We all from the same time, town. Now, let me fuck y'all up with this. The news just put out a story saying that the doctor was called at between two and 2.30. He, she or he didn't get there for another hour. So that put it at 3.26. She was already dead. Okay? Because the coroner said she died at 3. But everything is exceeding past 3. Because on the newscast, it says the doctors went at 2. Winner told them she didn't need to go to no hospital. Treat her right here which I believe the neck and the spine was broke at that moment, okay? Or that's right after the injury when she slammed her. That's why she's trying to get help for her, okay? If the motherfuckers arrived at 4.26 p.m., the doctors, you know, that's what it said on the newscast. I ain't putting up no videos because they copywriting like never before, okay? Now, I heard it on the news, the recent report say that 
the people got back there because Winter called the ambulance after the first trip. When they told him she needed to go to the doctor, they should have let her went then. She'll still be alive. They didn't. Winter told them, treat her here. Okay, after they left, evidently, she died. So they lied. Mexico lied to her damn family and told them she died at three. The doctors say they ain't get there to four on the second call, 4.26 p.m. Go watch the uh, the newscast, y'all. CBS, I think. Uh, yes. Said plain as day. They got there at 4.26 p.m. on the second call. The first call, they refused to get her medical treatment, which was at 2. Okay? At 4.26 p.m., that's when they arrived back at the villa and tried to say, give her the IV and all. She was dead. Okay, she was dead. And then about 5.57 p.m. is when they classified her dead. Eight, nine o'clock that night. So that means they left her in that villa all that time while they investigated. And they also said that the friends told them that she had alcohol poison. The EMTs, the doctor. So they convinced these people that she drunk herself to this state when the people should have said, well, we need to speak to her mama because she's grave sick and we need to take her. So were they in on it too? Because you know when Mexico comes, you got to pay them, baby. They ain't coming nowhere for free. Ain't shit free. So that Villa 32 got taxed for that doctor call. Okay? Had ain't no way in heaven's name they didn't, y'all. Follow the money. Okay. They stole $10,000 from that girl. Listen, after they fucked her up, okay, allegedly, they went out drinking with her motherfucking credit card and all that after she was dead. Okay? Allegedly. This is what I'm being told. I'm only passing on to y'all what I'm being told. Some could be true. Some could be not. Because last night uh, on Bigo, uh the Big O channel with the mom and the daughter, a bitch was, I mean, excuse me, a girl was up there saying she was their damn cousin, telling facts, and we almost ran with the shit. And come to find out, uh, Gerald Jackson butted in and told us that ain't her family. Her people out here right now saying she ain't no kin to them. Wow. So that lets you know it's fake information out here, y'all. You got to be careful. Allegedly. Allegedly, baby, and if you saw that video of them creeping around her body, they was trying to get her phone, all her credit cards, all her business, all her information is in them phones, y'all, okay? So maybe she had her credit card linked to the phone, and they needed her phone so they could G-pay, you know, wherever they went drinking at, allegedly. But that's what is being said, that they went drinking after they killed her, came back, dressed her in pajamas. Jazeer, you was there. Dressed her in pajamas, set her up in a motherfucking chair, and they left. You stayed, and they told you don't stay. You stayed to make yourself look good and cover your story. But you right, y'all did take her from the rec room to the living room, fighting her. Fighting her. Yes, I believe they fought her from that rec room to the living room. Or after they beat her down, body slammed her with the fatal blow, they drug her to the living room. Because the death certificate says plain as day. Body found in living room. Okay? Paper don't lie. It's on there. That's fucked up. You know? Now, I was on the Davey Wavy show, y'all. Shouts out to him. He been covering the shit since it occurred. November the 1st. Some of us just got up on it. He said... Baby, that um, Jazir and Khalil got caught in an intimate moment when they went on a vacation. She caught him. Y'all seen how she was walking around in that video with her phone? She do that on all her vacations, per what the family and friends are saying, y'all. She do that on all her vacations, and she caught them in a compromising position when they was playing the game. When she punched on that tablet, didn't y'all say hear her say, oh, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, and picked up the phone. 
She had two phones and a tablet with her and a Bluetooth. Okay. Little Bluetooth. Unless they was playing it off the Bluetooth in the room. It could have been that. Okay. The chef was there, y'all. The chef was in the room with him. I seen him in the video on the news. So, like I said, back to the subject. If the doctor got there at 426 and said that she was still partially alive, she was suffering, y'all, from a broke neck and a cracked spine. 426 p.m., y'all told her, mom and them, she died at 3. Which one is it? This shit is confusing. And it's coming from the doctor. So were they in on it, too? Did they pay them off her credit card? Make you wonder. But her moms did confirm they stole 10000 I don't know about seventeen. They paid their way back, and they rented that room at the airport because they didn't stay at that villa. They got the fuck on before people went to asking too many motherfucking questions or trying to double back. They left. They left Jazir there, so, allegedly. And ain't no telling what he did to her when he was in that room with her by himself, putting on music, laid her on the couch. Which lie is this nigga going to roll with, y'all? Which lie is this nigga going to roll with? You say you took her from the bathroom to the bedroom. How she get in the rec room? And then y'all broke her neck, drug her from back there to the living room and propped her, dressed her, propped her up in a motherfucking chair and left her. Booyah. That's what the daddy said, y'all, that they propped her up in a chair or a bed and left. But the motherfucking autopsy say the living room. So in that video, when Jazir say, we went from the rec room to the living room. Yeah, I'm sure y'all did. Fighting. All of y- all them girls jumped her. So I guess y'all did go from the, li- the rec room to the living room. Yeah, y'all, I had to come on here and tell y'all that, that the chef was in the building. And medical was called by Winter. Winter ain't her motherfucking friend. Winter don't, you should have been the one calling for her, Khalil. Okay. Winner ain't her friend. You know, they friends through friends through friends. You get it now? My friend, your friend, my friend, her friend, her friend's friends. Shit like that. But she didn't hang with them broke hoes. She didn't hang with them because they got into it over the PPP loans, y'all. Okay? They was jealous of her because she took her PPP loan and became successful. Her shit went flying up through the roof. They shit failed if they even tried to open the business. Okay, y'all? So y'all got it hot from Lady D Live in Detroit. And yes, they were after her phone, y'all. They took one of them. Only one made it back. Per the mama and the daddy. Okay? They said one of the phones made it back. The other one didn't. I'm telling y'all, they took that phone and erased out them gay ass pictures up out of there. The two boys getting busy. Plus, they was arguing at the airport, y'all. Over the villa. None of them had their money. None of them had their money. Per her real cousins, none of them had their money. And she was calling her, telling her what was going on. So this lady D live from Detroit, y'all. There y'all have it. Be careful because people is giving and passing on, emailing, inboxing, fake ass news. This lady D live from Detroit. Like and subscribe my channel. And have a blessed, blessed day.